Welcome back to my dojo for high performance. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to meditate for beginners. Now, for anyone who's never meditated before, you're probably wondering why do all these people sit around and do nothing? They just sit there, it seems like a waste of time, my mind's too busy, I think too much, I'm too much in my own head, I couldn't even do it if I tried. Well, before we even get into any of that, let's just talk about why people do it in the first place. And I like to compare it to the metaphor of exercising and getting, you know, six pack abs. If you want six pack abs or if you're a woman and you want a nice, lean, slender, nice looking body, well, what do you do? You go exercise consistently, you go eat the right amount of food, you get your nutrition on point, you have all those healthy habits to physically make sure that your body looks great. Unfortunately, in our Western society, we do focus very much on the external, but we never turn it around and look on the internal. And when people talk about mental health, it's always talked about in a negative way instead of like, well, how can we improve our mental health and actually feel awesome? We always hear about all these people who are sick and depressed and have these issues. And yes, meditation is really good for helping with those things, but not only that, but it can actually unlock your superhuman potential. So that's why we meditate. We meditate to help us overcome anxiety, stress, depression, and move from those negative feelings to a place of peace, happiness, confidence. That's what we can do with meditation. And the reason why it works so well is because when we go into meditation, we still our mind and we connect with the oneness, and eventually I promise you, you will get there, you're able to tap into your subconscious and your subconscious mind controls your entire reality. Your mind is a supercomputer and your conscious mind, your waking reality, that's, that computer, that conscious mind only processes about 40 bits of information per second versus your subconscious processes over 40 million bits of information per second. And so when you go into meditation, you're able to hook up and access that subconscious mind. So when you're able to do so, you're able to program more positive feelings into your mind and your life and to your health. And so people who get sick all the time and are battling all these diseases, meditation is one of the most important things that they need to be doing to program their health, to program their subconscious to heal themselves. So meditation will help you feel better mentally, emotionally, it will help you feel better and heal yourself physically, and it will help you manifest and create the things you want in the world. Because how do we do that? What we do is we go ahead and we go into our subconscious during meditation and we find a way to create a vision for our life. And once we have that clear vision, we can take that vision and reverse engineer it into actions and habits. And habits are something that also happen on the subconscious level. So hopefully high level, I know it's a lot of information, but now you understand why all these people are sitting around cross-legged. And it's not just you know the yogis who are doing this or the hippies. It's a lot of normal people, a lot of very well-known musicians, actors, entrepreneurs, businessmen and women, all these people are tapping into meditation because it allows them to tap into their supercomputer. And they know that, and they know that meditation gives them the cheat codes for life. So my opinion on everything in life is, and this is how I learn, the best way to learn is by doing. So right now, hopefully you, you know, have a moment to do this with me, we can just stop what we're doing, close our eyes, and we are gonna practice a very short meditation just to give you a little taste of what this is. So let's close our eyes, let's take a deep breath in through our nose, out through our mouth, let your shoulders drop and relax, let your face soften, and just ask yourself the question, what's it like to be me right now? and just sit with that question and see what comes up for you. Now, just in those few seconds, you just practice a little bit of meditation and a lot of people refer to that as mindfulness, being aware of your experience in the present moment. But that's a part of meditation. When we meditate, we become more mindful, more aware of what our inner experience is. Because we always know we have all this interpretation of our outer world where we're flipping around and we're getting aware of our inner experience. And just by asking yourself the question of what's it like to be me is a great way to do this because then you become aware. And when you become aware, anything's possible because you can change, right? And a lot of times, you know, I might do a meditation if I'm having a tough day and it might, the answer might be, 
I'm anxious or I'm stressed. And so I can follow that thread and I can say, okay, well, why am I anxious? Oh, because I have too much going on right now. I have, oh, do I, if I have too much going on right now, how can I chunk it down and focus on what's right in front of me in the present moment? And so usually we just get overwhelmed by thoughts. We're like, I'm overwhelmed, I'm anxious, oh, I'm so depressed, my life's so bad. It's like, okay, well, let's turn inward. Let's just sit in the nothingness and ask ourselves, you know, what is this experience I'm having? Why am I having it? And ask yourself questions to improve your situation and say, well, if I could not be stressed, if I could feel happier, if I could feel more present, what would I need to do? And then you could go take those actions in the physical world, but meditation is your opportunity to be still and gain some of that wisdom that you'll get from your subconscious mind. And I keep pointing like this because the way I think about the subconscious is there's a giant field of subconscious, which is everything you've ever experienced, are experiencing or ever will experience. And this can all flow through you if you open yourself up to it. And it's just a practice, it's a muscle, right? When you go to the gym for the first time, you don't put 300 pounds on the bench press, start repping it out. No, and so meditation, you don't need to start with an hour, you don't need to even start with 30 minutes. You don't need to be a master, you don't need to connect to the oneness of the consciousness of everything. All you need to do is put a little intention and effort. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not doing it right. If you give yourself even five minutes a day to sit with yourself and focus on your breath and be present with your own experience, you're doing it right. You cannot mess this up. And if anyone who is like, you know, tries to tell you all that you're meditating wrong, they don't get it. They don't get why we do this practice in the first place. It's a practice and it's an individual practice. It comes down to what you want out of it. It's not about anyone else because yes, there are probably thousands of types of meditations out there. There's so many different types of meditations and they're all, they're all different, they're all cool, they're all tools in your toolbox for getting different results in your life. But if we start here with just turning our attention inward, that is what I believe is a foundation for meditation for beginners. And what you can do when you turn that uh, attention inward is you can just start to focus also on your breath. So following your breath as it comes in through your nostrils, circulating through your lungs and back out your mouth and slowing your breath down because usually you know we're up in our chest and we're like <laughs> and that's like that anxious overwhelmed feeling so let's just breathe through our stomach through our lower belly below our belly button and breathe in deeply through our nose slowly out through our mouth and just by doing a few of those breaths you're going to feel so much more relaxed so let's just do a few together really quick if you're still with me let's do this Three deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, using your belly. So breathe in through your nose as your stomach rises. Out through your mouth, stomach falls. In through your nose, your stomach rises. Out through your mouth, your stomach falls. One more deep breath in through your nose, your stomach rises. Out through your mouth, your stomach falls. Now just by doing those few breaths, you can already probably start to feel the physiological changes. You start to feel more relaxed. Maybe your shoulders drop, maybe your face soften, maybe your mind became a little more clear and present. That's all you have to do. That's really the practice itself. And I recommend starting with five minutes a day and a really easy way to get started actually is I've created guided meditations to help you with this. I have a free seven day guided meditation experience and this experience is available in my mobile app. It's for iPhone users and Android users. It's linked up in the description below. It's free. Go through those seven days. I start you off very slow, five minutes a day. It's not a big commitment and it gives you a little bit of a foundation for how you can start doing this on your own. And of course you can do this on your own as I mentioned earlier in the video, but sometimes starting with guided meditations gives you an idea of like, oh, okay, so I can breathe for five minutes. This is what it feels like. He's kind of controlling how long I'm doing it for and I don't have to set a timer or anything like that. Some of that stuff is a little bit helpful. So if you're interested, it is linked up in the description below. And one of the greatest parts about the meditation practice is that we get to come back to the present moment because the truth is everything else is an illusion. Everything in the past, everything in the future, all that stuff does not actually exist ever. The 
only thing that ever exists is right here, right now, in this present moment. In closing, I just wanna mention that I get it. You look on Instagram, you look on YouTube and what's trending and what's popular and everything in the world tells you that you're gonna get your happiness from everything out there. But we see all these people, these famous people, these actors who are super famous and rich and musicians using drugs to basically numb their minds because they don't know how to deal with what's going on in here. And then many of them end up killing themselves. So why do you think that happens? It's because what's out there isn't gonna make you necessarily feel good in here. You can have heaven on earth if you can connect and you can build yourself in here. And I know it sounds almost unrealistic or it sounds too good to be true, but it's true. We just don't have enough people out there sharing this wisdom, sharing this knowledge. And so hopefully you have now acquired this knowledge. And so knowledge plus experience becomes wisdom. It will become your wisdom once you start to take action consistently meditating. Just five minutes a day is all it takes to start. And again, that meditation is linked up in the description below as a supporting resource for you. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that so much. Like the video, drop any comments or questions you have below. Again, my name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. If you wanna connect with me, you can always hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, or you can Find me on the internet. I'm all over the internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm all over the internet. And I'm happy to connect with you and support you any way I can. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video here in the High Performance Dojo.